G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today I'm joined by our little chihuahua who's nine weeks old, Kupi, and she is modelling today's tutorial, which is a little ladybug cap. Perfect for little chihuahuas. Any of your baby puppies will suit most, most toy breeds. If you would like to make it along with us, simply click on the link in the description below and download your free PDF pattern templates and we can get started. To start our little chihuahua cap today, we're going to need to have your pattern pieces cut out. Now I've cut out my pieces from what I call doubled felt. Double felt is just two pieces of ordinary felt fused together completely with uh, fusible webbing. I generally fuse two pieces of felt together and then I cut my shapes from that. So you've got your two side head pieces and I've actually made it quite contrasting with the black on the inside of the cap and the bright colour. You can make it up with hot pink, red, uh, even bright green, anything that just has that cute little bug look about it and then you seem to gusset. You'll also need an assortment of buttons to decorate your little cap with at the end. Um, you can have plain black but it really helps the colour scheme if you have a bit of white incorporated there as well it really makes the the bright colour in your black really pop. For the same reason I'm going to be blanket stitching our outer edges with a very fine perlay thread which is white also. You'll need a couple of pieces of fine elastic, a round rolled elastic, it's actually called hat elastic here in Australia, um, in a dark colour. Uh, that's for the little antennae. You'll also need a couple of beads to glue onto the end of those um, and that's your choice. Make sure they're quite light, uh, they don't weigh very much, they don't, they don't pull those elastic pieces down too much. Um, and I'll show you that I've just hot glued my two ready already on there, a couple of little round beads just glued on with hot glue. And you'll also need two extra buttons because they're going to be used for our fastening around the chin area. So two matching buttons, one for either side of that side cap. I like to use a hair tie for pulling around those two buttons to do up under the chin because baby puppies and uh, little dogs can be quite fussy about uh, tying up ribbons and things. This is just an easier way to do it. You can use hat elastic if you like. You make your own little elastic. You could, in place of those buttons, you could actually sew a ribbon each side if that's how you wanted to fasten it. And you will need some extra strong thread for, for sewing up and also for sewing your buttons on. So to begin with, our first step is to start putting together our little cap and it's right sides together. Here's our widow's peak here, that's the front of our cap and this is the front of our cap with our chin piece facing forwards. So it's just a matter of lining up those edges. Now you find that double felt, while it's thick, is very, very easy to work with. I like to have a needle threaded up with my extra strong e embroidery thread I am going to sew this little seam on the machine but I like to overcast it in place first. So I like to do that just with a tiny seam and it's really just a holding stitch and it just makes sure that those edges are going to be meeting when we sew on the machine those, those edges are going to be nicely met. Now we are going to incorporate in this little seam our, our little antennae. So make sure that if you have glued your beads on first, you can do them later, I tend to do them first, make sure that you cut your, your little lengths uh, to the same length matching and we're just going to pop that one in the seam facing inwards just extend a little so you can machine over that and it's usually around about it's about almost a centimeter in from this edge that's where it's placed in the seam and then I'll just overcast that piece in place and then I will sew that 
seam on the machine and I will probably sew it twice so it's nice and firm and then I will repeat exactly the same process on the other side exactly the same there's our first stage that's what your little cat should look like at this stage you see you've sewn both those seams you've got your little antennae and we've just rolled those two little seams out and that forms the front of your cap you can see that shape coming in there right so our next step turn it back the wrong way and you can see that that little cap that's how we're going to sew those two pieces and we have a little opening there for the ears so we start with our pinning pinning or sewing because the because the uh, double felt is so firm I find that it really doesn't move you start at the base so I like to start at the base and see I've lined up those two edges on one side I have again my my needle and thread my upholstery thread I'm going to anchor that in there just with your overcasting stitch again just so that doesn't slip we want everything nice and even and I am going to sew this seam on the machine again I like to do that because of the strength and I can make a very small close stitch so what I'll do is overcast like you've seen me do there and I'll follow that line around and as I go around the curve I'll follow that curve right up until we get to the end and that final point there and that's where I'll finish so you can see and then I'll just stitch on the machine if you find that too awkward you can just use a standard stab back stitch to hand sew that little piece in right up to there just as you did here and then repeat on the opposite side there's what your little cap should be looking like now with those two side head seams sewn I've actually rolled those seams out and you've got basically a finished cap shape there so next you'll need to thread up your needle with your chosen thread like I said I'm using a very fine perlay thread it's got some strength um, and it, it gives a really nice finish on this little cap so we're going to start on the inside because it's double felt we can come in between the two layers I actually slip my needle through the two layers there and come out right in between I can use my awl just a little awl there to just increase the size of that hole that that's just gone into and I should just be able to slip my knot into a little pocket in there and make that quite hidden we can tuck those felt fibers over that after now we're going to blanket stitch the entire outer edge back and round the front with a tiny blanket stitch if you haven't sewn a blanket stitch before you can have a look at my other channel Lisa pay how to sew a blanket stitch and it will give you a really good up close look at this stitch and how to do it but it's just a matter of keeping your stitches very small and even I'm making mine around about three millimeters each coming back through the loop so I'll show you that one again so keeping it to our little three millimeters back through the loop and you can see that makes that little blanket binding that will work all around those edges and also work that same stitch around both of your ear openings there there is a little head cap with the little blanket stitching you can see I've done every edge there and around each of those ear holes and now we just need to sew on our buttons now remember that we need our two slightly bigger buttons one on each side and, and then you can just randomly sew on just wherever you like as many or as few as you like all over the cap and I'll be using black 
extra strong upholstery thread to do that. There we have our completed little ladybug cap. You can see I've just sewn some buttons on randomly there. Our little antennae. And now I've just popped that, that little hair tie around with a twist in the front and around again. It makes it very easy for putting on a little dog. Now remember that you can increase this pattern. If you're looking for the measurement to suit your dog, I recommend that the measurement you look at is the distance between their ears across the top of the head. And if you keep all your proportions the same and you enlarge your pattern pieces, you'll find that'll fit really well. At the moment, Kupi, my little Chihuahua is so little that I will probably just replace that one until she grows a little. Just do the same thing, just with a little rubber band and twist that round and that just hold that nicely. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making this little project with us today. If you have, you could give us a thumbs up. That would be beaut. Looks like Kupi needs to go to bed. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming puppy projects. Most of all, remember to pay it forward because everybody can until we see you again. It's Uru from us. Uru Kupi.